Hey, what's going on YouTube? Donnie Cummings from Pink with Style My Style Japan. Uh, this is becoming a normal thing, me going away for a long time and coming back saying, I'm sorry for coming back, but hey, it's going to be a normal thing uh, with the business, you know, starting up and now it's one year, seven months since I opened up the business and everything. Uh, business and family is, is priority. And uh, I haven't been racing, haven't been doing anything. So uh, just to get like right to the point, because a lot of guys like, hey man, you quit drifting and things like that. I haven't quit drifting. I haven't quit anything I've done before. It's just anybody out there who does drifting or anything or competes and everything, you know how much one weekend costs, uh, you know, and you're not guaranteed to win, you know what I'm saying, in a judge sport. So I put all that money uh, that I was spending for drifting and all that stuff towards my business. And trust me, once I come back to drift and everything, everything will be much better. Um, you know, I'll be competing further, you know, much further than Japan, Australia, uh, you know, all over. Uh, so, think, you know, a little bit of sacrifice to go further and all that stuff. So, just to get that out the way and everything. So, uh, just to start, you know, I'm wearing this uh, Bridge Moto, uh, Bridge Moto jumper set I got right here. Um, set by Alan Newsom of uh, Bridge Moto down in uh, Georgia. And um, if you guys would like to get a pair of these, um, they go up to like, you know, from as little as five, five guys up to like six, four, six, seven, whatever tall guys. So, if you're looking to get a pair of these, um, just email me at Donald Pink with Style. I'll give you the information for that, and then you'll um, you'll pay and do all that stuff and get a set of these. Got to get at least four orders to uh, send these out, so you need four people uh, to actually get these going. So, again, they're right here. Uh, bridge, bridge Moto. Uh, this is the, uh, the front side, pockets and everything, and then this is the uh, back side right here, pink style on it. So, there you go, Bridge Moto. All right, so... Um, again, I haven't been racing, so I got a lot of race footage, so let's just go ahead and do a walk around of the shop. I've been doing a lot of these updates and everything, see what we got going on now, what cars are here, what cars are not here, what cars got sold, what parts I got. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this walk around. Um, got a little bit more wheels and stuff in there, so if you guys need needing wheels and stuff like that, uh, just hit me up and I'll uh, get all that stuff shipped out. RB26 still sitting here, I haven't rebuilt that yet. This is the one I used between 2015 and something like that. Um, so still got parts and everything here. Uh, the cool RB20 covers right here for RB2025. As you can see right here, we got, uh, what's that, uh, Gran Turismo Sport Beta, which is going to be ending on a 16, so I got to, I haven't played it in six weeks, or about four weeks or whatever. Uh, so the shop is coming, uh, coming along, getting more stuff in here. Got a, got a cool little uh, one-piece water cooler here, so if you come here and you're hot, you can get some water and all that good stuff. Again, for all you guys out there, if you don't have any, um, uh, you got stickers for your company or whatever you want to get on my wall right here I'm pretty much making this whole wall uh, all my stickers so uh, send me your stickers and I'll put your sticker on my wall all right so let's just walk out of here uh, I got a pachinko machine now for guys who want to gamble and all that stuff so you know you just shoot the balls and uh, all that cool stuff so you know it was like 150 bucks couldn't pass it up all right so walking out into the shop uh, Let's see, so we got a bunch of uh, engines and everything sitting around. Got a 2JNA, a 3SGE, RB25 and 26 clothing, and the uh, Turbo V8 uh, LS1, which is actually up for sale right now. 1J just got sold the other day, so that's a 1J VVTi and some other stuff. And this is another RB26 spare I got going on right here. Uh, just walking up a little bit. Uh, what car we got right here? Uh, this is the S13, if you guys remember, this is the one I used for the actual, it had a 1J in it, you know, last year, sold that to um, Mr. Robbie Nishida, and um, I had an RB laying around, dropped the RB in it, and I'm just going to get this going, and this is going to be for sale as soon as it gets, go soon as it gets going. Uh, walking over here to the engine build, new engine, right here is where I'm going to be building engines and stuff like that. I, took, I had an RX-7 sitting right here, kicked that out, uh, so any engine builds and stuff like that, which I got a few going on right now. Um, RB26 out of the shop ahead right here. I'm doing porting on and everything. Um, this is my assistant, Quan Taylor's RB25 Neo fully forged setup he's working on right now. So, you know, again, uh, it's nice to be able to nice to be able to do all this stuff, you know, yourself, but you got to duplicate yourself. Get some light over here. I'm black. You can't see me. But anyway, I'm teaching this guy to ropes or whatever. You can't see my face or whatever. But I'm teaching this guy to ropes, and um, he's doing pretty well. All right, so... Last time, I think the last video I had the lift in here, but it wasn't hooked up. But now the lift is hooked up, and it's one of the best tools in my arsenal. It makes things faster. The back here hasn't changed much, just the same with the welding section. All right, so just walking outside right here. 
seat. Uh, so we got the uh, we got out here just looking out. Still got that Chiroku there. Got an NSX now. Picked the, pick the NSX, NSX. Picked that up uh, a few months ago now. And it's just sitting here. I'm going to be putting this together. This is why I'm selling a lot of my cars right now because NSX, you know, you don't get those all the time. And uh, it's pretty stripped down, but I'm going to build everything back up and be racing this soon. Engine I want to run, run with is going to be probably a K20, but if I get a C30 for cheap, I'll put it in there. But really don't want to spend five grand for a C30. And um, what we got right here is this uh, another customer's GTR. Uh, yesterday, probably about 15 hours ago, this engine was sitting on the engine stand, and now it's in the car and running. And as I tell you guys, um, I don't BS with uh, timing. When you send your car here, damn, man, it's so bright, dude. All right, when you send your car here to get worked on, it gets worked on. I don't mess around. When your car is in my shop, I don't play with my cars. I don't play with anybody else's cars. I work on your stuff. And this is the results. The guy came here, wanted an oil pan job, some other stuff done. He brought it here, dropped it off. He picks it up. I get paid. I buy more car parts and feed my family and all that cool stuff. So anyway, this is just a, uh, a simple RB26. And I put a uh, Tommy oil pan baffle kit in it and also a new uh, M1 uh, oil pump. All right, so we got right here is one of my, this is one of my two, I just got two, went from no Subarus to two Subarus. I got a GDB, uh, Hawkeye, and a Bugeye. The other one's at my other land, and pretty much for this one, I'm not even going to go into what I'm going to put in it, but it's going to be something in it pretty cool. Uh, this is my buddy's um, EG Civic, like 94, something like that, fully built B16, bunch of goodies under the under the uh, hood, bunch of goodies under the uh, suspension. Doesn't have this racing gear on, but it's a full track setup and uh, possibly for sale. And um, if it comes for sale, I'll put that up soon. Uh, here's the S2K back out a little bit so you can see that on the side got a little bit more arrow on it put some wheels back on it and um just some painting and some color color changing fenders right there in the back then we got the uh street faction engineering wing which was the only one in japan but there's some girl down in Oka okinawa who has it now has one now so i'm not the only one and i got a cool ass little trick bike right here but uh for the S2000, put this. Uh, I got this turbo kit off of eBay. I wanted to try to whatever I give guys. Got you know, I, I found CX Racing on eBay a while ago and it worked out pretty good. But whoever company made this, uh, this kit sucked. I don't like it. I finished it up, it works and everything, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna take all this crap back out and make my own manifold and everything uh, because it's garbage and I don't want you know garbage associated with my shop. People laughing at me at the track. Uh, so this is coming back apart and doing something to go with a probably a V mount setup. And I'll put it in the cooler up top because it's a lot, it's, it's like lacking space down there with the, the piping. And then, yeah, I'll do something cool with it. But uh, just walking, walking around. Uh, again, this NSX sitting right there. R33 was good to LS1, but that's not going on no more. Uh, R34 for my wife, the DR30, nobody's getting that. And of course, the RB26, uh, Sylvia, which is just sitting there. And then right here, it's going to be. My uh, car is for sale. This is a R32 GTS T RB20. Um, just did a bunch of work to get this back running. And this is up for sale. Here in Japan, only no documents. Then we got the uh, S14 Sylvia, which you guys see me do the reaction coilover kit thing on. And that's for sale also. And a MRS, which I really don't want to sell this car. But again, I got to get money into the shop and do all the cool stuff. So I'm selling a lot of my cars. And this is for sale. So this is the uh, the for sale for sale cars as you're going up and down the street. And I get a lot of guys coming in wanting to buy them. But, you know, I'm all about track and everything. So, you know, I don't really care about not driving one street got daily now. Uh, so, again, this is the shop. You know, it's coming along and everything. And uh, that's pretty much it right there. So just go back inside, chat a little bit more. Ah, I can't forget the... Uh, my Honda Odyssey right here, which I got a ticket. I got a ticket like a uh, few weeks ago for having this 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 fitment on his wheels right here. They called this aggressive, man, because the wheel stuck out like a half an inch uh, out the bumper. And that's that's I got paid seventy dollars for that. So it was all good as the rules. But whatever, he didn't get me to fix the ticket. So I didn't fix it. I just paid the ticket and hopefully I don't see that cop again. But whatever. But going back aside and uh, chat chat a little bit more about what's to come and 
things like that. Set this back up. All right, so again, that was just a uh, quick walk around of what's going on and everything. Again, apologize, you know, uh, for being away, but it is business. I'm, I'm a one guy shop, but a lot of guys don't realize I make things happen and it looks easy, it looks fast and easy on uh, Facebook. It's because I don't sleep a lot, I make a lot of sacrifices. I'm not, you know, I don't do jujitsu as much as I did before. I don't race. All the cool stuff I did when I was working for somebody else, you know, making making cash, making money. You know, what I mean, when you run your own company. You realize, like, you know, it sucks when you go to work, you work at McDonald's, work wherever, and the guy's like, you know, it's rain, sleet, it's snow, you got to come to work and serve the customers. You know what I mean? And as a as an owner of a business now, I kind of understand that, man. You, it's, any day off you take off, it's, you're, you're losing money. You can't, sick days and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Now now that I, man, I knew before, you know, it was a bigger picture when you're the, when you're the employee or whatever, but as an owner, um, any day off or any, any, any setbacks is coming out of your pocket. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's just a lot of things I was doing before, the things I was doing for people I can't do and I will not do now because I'm not, my, my, my business interests, my business and family is more, you know, everybody's, everybody's family is important to them, but, you know, I, mean, I got to take care of my stuff and um, things get better. Once the business smooths out and it's in cruise control, I'll return back to racing and everything. Um, for the guys asking out there, you know, why I don't source export cars and everything, the biggest thing, you know, it doesn't take somebody being in business a long time to know these things. You're just watching other people fail. Uh, the biggest reason people fail in business is because they don't stick. Whatever they put down on the paper when they were making their business plan, they don't stick to it. They start doing other stuff before they got whatever was in their business plan. You didn't you didn't master that yet or get that, you know, solid yet and running its own self. And you start adding other stupid stuff to your business and allowing people around you and doing all this crazy stuff. You, you, don't, you don't succeed. So you're the performance shop. You're a part shop, you export cars, or you sell cars. You can't do all of those at the same time, especially me being one guy. I have a helper, but he's still military, and he can't be here all the time. So being one guy, my, my thing is performance work. I don't work on minivans and all that stuff. You know what I mean? A mechanic is one thing. A mechanic to me is just somebody who kind of, you swap parts. That's cool. I, I die not a little bit more. So I'm more than a mechanic, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know what I mean? When guys come here and went unreasonable. Like not not on a reasonable request, but they want requests and think I should fill them because I can paint and I do have stuff I painting here. I'm not a paint shop. I can paint for myself, but I don't paint for you. So when you come here and ask for services or you email me and ask for services and I don't do it, don't get mad. I'll refer you to somebody else and they'll help you out. Um, so that's the that's the deal in that because I get a lot of emails with guys asking me to export this and that. I don't export. You know, you got you know power vehicles, you got quick style, you got all these other guys out there to export. They're good at it and they have a good name. Go with those guys and get it done. That's what they do. They don't work on cars. They don't build cars and stuff like I do. So I do what I do and they do what they do and everybody's happy. Everybody makes money and you get service and everybody, you know, kumbaya and all that BS. Uh, so anyway, um, again, I plan on, like this summer is, again, this summer is probably going to be a wash. It's already July. I'm not making no big comeback at the end of the summer. It's a waste of time. I'm just gonna focus on next year because it's gonna come fast. This this year is already going fast. It's already about to it's already about to be Christmas again. So you know what I mean it, it's um uh it sucks not being at the track, being with people. I just don't look at certain things on Facebook, you know feeds. It ain't that I'm hating on you know my guys is competing and I'm not not liking your posts or whatever. I just don't want to look at it because I'm not a sideline guy. I've never been a sideline guy. I played you know, high school sports, three sports. I was a starter. Played college football. Didn't start there. So I'm a guy that's in. I'm the guy that's on in the mix. I'm not the guy sitting on the sideline saying, "Yeah, I can do that." I just don't go. I don't go to drift events. I don't go to anything that I do personally and watch it. I can't do that. I'm a person full of passion, and it makes me angry. And I don't want to be, be that guy sitting on the sideline hating on the guys out there doing it. So I just stay out. You know, work on customer cars and get everything done. So. You guys got any questions and stuff like that? You know, since I'm inactive on the track, you got any questions and stuff? And uh, any, you know, um, again, not sourcing parts, but I can help you get stuff like that. I'll sell parts I sell is stuff I already have on my own. So um, don't send me sourcing. I don't source. Don't. I'm not doing that right now. Uh, so any questions about anything Japan related, um, how to start a business, things like that, just send, send me those questions and I'll get back to you. So. Again, thank you guys for stopping in, as always, taking time out of your day and uh, checking out my setup and everything. 
And um, things are going to get better. I trust me. Sorry for the viewers. It's been slow. Things are going to get better. And um, I hit like 5,000 subs since like the last time I've been on here. I think so. You know what I mean? I'd rather get genuine, genuine sub subbers. I'm not giving away anything, you know, crazy all the time. I will be doing some giveaways, but, I, you know, I ain't got a stunning giveaway right now. So uh, thanks for the subs up there. And, um, uh, you know, do your guys' thing. Stay in your own lane and everything will be good. So thank you guys for tuning in. Dying starting off with Bank Your Style Masala Japan. I'll uh, see you guys later. When I look around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong.